Hello fellow leggers, it's great to have you back with us. Or if you're new around here, thank you for joining us here at London's County Hall, where we are going to see an immersive production of Agatha Christie's Witness for the Prosecution. So stay tuned to find out how many legs, whether it's break a leg or leg it. Yes, fellow leggers, it's lovely to have you with us. Um, make sure if you're new around here, if you want to keep up to date with our latest news, reviews and interviews, hit subscribe. Yeah, and let us know you're there if you don't want to subscribe, or maybe you have, by hitting like or leaving us a comment. We love to know your theatre thoughts. Yes, because your theatre thoughts have got us to see this production. Yeah. Um, so thank you for your recommendations of theatre we should see. Keep them coming. Yeah, a couple of people have suggested this one. Now, Witness for the Prosecution is a play written by Agatha Christie, originally premiered in 1953, but was adapted from a short story of hers from 1925 of the same name. Now, Agatha Christie, have you seen any other Agatha Christie? Yes, I've seen Mousetrap, which has been running for a long time. Yeah, anything else? Um, I, I've also seen And Then There Were None. Okay. I've seen Bits and Bobs on telly. David Suchet is known for playing Pyro. Pyro, yeah. Pyro. Py Pyro, he's not going to burn things. Py <laughs> Pyro, it's French. Um, and I've, I've never quite watched it, but I, no. I thought he was fantastic as an actor playing that part. Yeah, and also Miss Marple. She did all of the Miss yeah. Marple stories. Stories which which still live on, they still get filmed now. Gotta say, never been interested. No, I've never not. really struck me as something to really watch. Mouse it's trap not, didn't really do much for me. Not my sort of thing. No. But I think this is a really interesting sounding production. Because it's immersive. Yeah, it's staged in the main chamber of the former home of London County Council, okay. which was also held the government for a period as well. Ooh. Here at the um, County Hall, it's been entirely transformed into a courtroom, specifically the Old Bailey, and as and the audience now gets to become the jury and sits amongst the action as the story unfolds. Okay. Mm. Anything else we need to know? Well, the story is that of Leonard Vole. I know you're interested in this. <laughs> who's accused of murdering a widow to inherit her wealth? Okay. As the prosecution takes to the stand, Leonard's very life hangs in the balance as the threat of the noose looms large. Dun, dun, dun! And say in a period where there still was the death penalty, okay. so you know, if you're, Stakes if, are high. if you're accused of something you didn't do it, you could die for it. I mean, okay. gosh, talk about high stakes. Okay. Now, this was nominated for an Olivier Award this year for Best Entertainment. Really? Yes, okay. it didn't win, but it was nominated. Okay. Directed by Lucy Bailey and has a runtime of around 2 hours and 20 minutes, including an interval. So I guess we'll be catching up with them again then? Um, unless there's anyone in the cast you want to tell me about? Not now. Okay, in the next case we'll also catch up at the end to find out how many legs. We've come to the interval, which means it's time for the Breaker Leggers 30 second, second interval, interval breakdown. breakdown. Go! What do you think so far? I'll go first. Um, I like it. Um, I'm not a big fan of Agatha Christie's usually, but this is a nice courtroom drama. A courtroom is a fantastic place for drama, and boy, do we have it. Um, so I'm liking it so far. Yeah, I would totally agree. I think the setting adds a huge element of sort of immersiveness. It's so fitting. It's really well staged. Um, there's plot, there's intrigue, and there's enough to keep you going and wanting to go back for more of the interval. Looking forward to getting back inside. We've come to the end, so I think we should approach the jury box and ask for a verdict on this one. <laughs> Have you been thinking about that for a I've while? I've been thinking about that for a while. Topical. No, it was completely spontaneous. <laughs> okay, um, does that mean it's, it's me first? Yeah, then? go on then. Um, I really liked it. Um, I think having an insight into the criminal justice system for a setting of drama to start with is just really good. Because it's almost the, the area we don't know. Unless you've been, unless you've been unlucky enough, unless you have, I don't know if it's lucky or unlucky enough. Well, unless you've had that experience of, you know, what it's like to be on a jury, or you work within that, it's kind of like only documented in film, well, or you in movies, say or drama. That. I, I, I was deprived as a child. Now I was brought up in the '90s. We didn't have Facebook. We didn't have things to keep us entertained. So, so you just actually, went down to the local a group court. of us used to go to the local court and sit in on the Crown Court because you can, as a member of the public, just at an afternoon. Really? Yeah. So you know, Is we go shopping for a while. Often? We went a few times. 
So I, I kind of have been in this, you know, it was never murder Okay, cases. well apart from yourself, apart yeah, I mean, from I, you, I, I, you know. a special case here. Mm. I, I special don't know if this case. is everyone's experience. It may as well be my nickname. <laughs> Definitely a special case. Then uh, I guess most people, you know, this is just a nice glimpse into the world of, I guess even if you do know um, what, if you do have experience of being in a court, just the fact that you don't know what the case is in mm. itself. So there's interest in the case. What is the story? Everyone has a story to tell. Sometimes people's stories agree, people disagree, arguing points back and forth. There's just good meaty drama in that. Much like how James Graham has found the drama in politics, Agatha Christie in this one has most seen the drama in a courtroom. Yeah. So the context and the, the topic the topicality, no, the topic of it is just, just good Yeah, to start I, with. And uh, that's the thing I didn't really appreciate about Agatha Christie is that depth of knowledge she clearly has in, number one, how to set a drama and how to make it engaging and also, you know, the criminal justice system as being a setting. You know, a, a lot of her, I don't know too much about her, but a lot of her stories are about murder and, you know, evidence and the detective side of things. and. And there's a certain amount of cross-examination in this which does delve into those what's this piece of evidence and why doesn't this agree with this agree and you are left as asking yourself a lot of questions and it is you do throughout the story there are twists and turns and there are things that are brought up that shape your view yeah. and Agatha Christie is clearly very good at that she does she just reveals the right things at the right time leads you down a certain path then she changes the path and then she whips you back this way and it's quite nicely set up because it's pretty much the last five ten minutes there's certain aspects that are predictable you know that's gonna happen but then she takes it an extra she step she loves a twist and an extra step she loves a bloody twist doesn't she Agatha Christie now I've not seen the mouse trap I know you have yes but I know that's renowned for its twist and they're still yes. asking audiences I mean it's been well, it's got to be renowned for something. It's been in the West End for, what, about two, three hundred years now? And they still ask in audiences not to give away the ending. And to be honest, it must be working, because I've no idea what the twist is in the mousetrap. Don't tell me. Um, so I guess that's the piece. So it's a well-written yeah. piece. Now let's move on to it being housed in this venue. Yes. Adds to it fantastically. Yeah, it lifts is, it, doesn't it's it? A, this used to be, was it a government building, did we say? Yeah, the court, uh, there used to be the county... Um, council offices and it also housed the government for a period and you can feel that in the sort of plushness the marble surroundings and the pillars and the you know the red leather seating it is very sort of palatial almost yeah, very um, governmental where it's housed as well in the kind of the theatrical is a council chamber. space is the chamber hmm. so it fits very well kind of like the idea of a magistrate an old bailey on a grand scale um, so that really added to it as well. It's just a natural, you felt as if you were kind of going back to your days of observing the cases, just nipping into the local court. That's what it felt yeah, like. My local court absorbing. was nowhere near as grand as this. I mean, it's almost worth the entrance price alone just to see inside this building because it is beautiful, it's a beautiful and a unique. Building. Absolutely unique building, unique. And very plush, and it definitely added to the piece and amplified. Let's talk about the some of the cast. Um, the accused, Leonard Vole, played by Harry Reid. Now, you probably know Harry Reid best from. EastEnders played the role of Ben Mitchell for four years. I don't watch the soaps, you knew his face. I recognise his face. Anyway. Yeah. Um, what did you think of him? Um, I thought he was good, he was sound. He, he played the, the um, naive, innocent character very well, very believable. I um, thought he was sound. And also mentioned must. Um, mentioned Lucy Phelps as Romaine Vol, uh, German, was she was very good, very committed. It's a really well written part actually, yeah. um, considering For a such woman in 19... a male heavy piece yeah. as well, in a male heavy world, in a male heavy piece well, at the time it would have been very male. That character this strong is female so, character. so strong and well, and yeah. well rounded for a female part from the 1950s, you know, mm -hmm. you, you don't see female parts in modern plays that have as much sort of oomph and gumption about them yes. as you do with her in this piece which There's I thought no she played like, really oh, well I was, no I love no. my man what should we do now Strong no woman. she's got a voice she's, she uh, knows oh. she knows how to control the she situation does so really good I liked also the um, defence and prosecution yes um, just putting you on the spot you there. are a little bit so you want the justices <laughs> the justices um, were good they have some really nice meat stuff with the back yeah. and forth and the, I object and they're, they're really accusing Richard lines Richard Clothier 
Cloythia. Cloythia. Uh, Sir Wilfred Robarts QC. He was very, very good. Yep. Um, the judge, I thought, was great judge as well. Was good. You know, well cast. he just looked like an old judge. He did. Like in anything you've ever seen with an old judge in, they always look like that. And he, he looked like that. Surely he must have been cast like that many times. Julian Curry, yeah. I mean, he's been in Rumpole of the Bailey, Sherlock Holmes, Inspector Morse. He gets these he parts, go. doesn't he? He gets these parts. Um, he's very, very good. Uh, do we know who the other. The other. Um, da, 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 my yes. To... Oh. Um, Philip Franks as Mr. Myers, QC. Okay, they were good. Yeah. A, do you know, it's quite a big cast. It I was quite cons- surprised when the, everybody came out at the end. Yeah. I think it counted about 19 people. Wow. And we had a couple of understudies as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's quite a vast cast, which yeah. is quite interesting. Yeah, um, anything else you want to say? Um, I must mention the director. Yep. Lucy Bailey is the director for this. Now, it says that she did Titus Andronicus at the Globe. That's a great piece, but we, we saw it at the um, RSC, so we wouldn't have caught that one, but that's a great piece. Um, you know, she's she's doing really, really well. Again, a woman, which is fantastic. Yeah, something with a kind of common theme we're seeing, which is really great, championing not only female pieces, but also female um, directors. We're just champion teams. talent. Come on, this is 2018. Just yeah, let's see talent. directors and let's see That's writers. No, get rid of this sexist stuff. Yeah. So it's great to see that. Um, also, like lighting. Lighting, just the fact that you were able, they were able to make this space into a theatrical venue in itself is great. The rigging mm. going up and around. It's it's William Dudley designer and Chris Davey as yeah. the lighting designer and also I yeah. must mention sound because there's sort of undertones of chattering and there's people shouting objections out and things like that that's yeah. all played in but it's like it's happening around you really nice soundscapes Mick Paul. as well great Who was that? soundscape Mick Paul. Mick Paul Mick Paul really nice stuff there anything else we want to add on this I think we should move on to legs. Well, I guess you were probably wondering how many legs we're going to give this piece. Well, witness for the prosecution, playing at London's County Hall. Which has just been extended. Yes, running till March 2019 currently, so you've got time to catch it. We are going to give... Four. Oh, four legs! I really enjoyed it. Thoroughly engaging, enjoyable, a great way to sort of let your mind just be absorbed into a story because you've got that fantastic setting around you. There's nothing mind-blowing about this as a piece of theatre. There's nothing sort of groundbreakingly new. But do you know what? It's just a great couple of hours. Um, I mean, I don't. It's something about breathing the same air as the actors, where you could put this on film and it would still be an interesting story. But being in in amongst them all just made it a great day out yeah i enjoyed being taken on those that roller coaster though enjoying the twists and the turns especially the coming out at the end so um i enjoyed it but hey that's just what we thought just what we thought what did you think have you seen the show you know to comment below maybe there's something else you're excited about maybe you've seen another good agatha christie we'd love to hear from you we're the breaker leggers and we'll, and we'll catch, catch you again, again soon bye, bye.